as the old astronaut stands before the alien contract. Reflections of recent days after this old man's eye. He was once a European and American Confederate soldier. After their defeat by the corporate union, however, this veteran and space miner sought refuge, digging resources from his property in Paris. Yet now he finds himself again upon the eve of battle, living by the gun, standing for justice and the good people. He contemplates the strange path of redemption, with the artifact being the center of it all. Somehow, the old space engineer understands that his thoughts are heard by the artifact. But how can this be? Curious. The old man diverts some energy produced by his starship to feed this monolith. Why? What compels him to do this? Somehow, within his inner heart, he feels that an ancient and loving spirit resides within the artifact. Overwhelmed by infinite wisdom and expanding glory, the old space engineer begins to understand. Each room becomes clear as the monolith communicates. All the old astronaut can do is stand in awe, barely able to maintain his unbridled joy brought forth from the arcane word imparted upon him. Ascending into a higher perception, reality begins to become immaterial as the memories shared with the monolith are brought forth as if they were the present. <laughs> for being such an engineer <laughs> we, we, we better start fighting run I, there's three of them and they're chasing me well that's why I'm grinding a man <laughs> they're going to being delivered from captivity the monolith conveys kinship and brotherhood with the old astronaut Zeno's and these things. What the hell is whoever built this wasn't human. Yeah, but it's like one I can't big... even tell you what that's made of. Well, it's like one big supercon... Later, the old space engineer lies restless in bed. Disturbed to a great degree. For in a single moment, all his perceptions of reality were shattered. He fears the artifact. Not for its nature, but because of its untold power. He gets up and tries to cook food to eat. He's not hungry. Rather, he just does this to ease his emotional doubt. The old astronaut tells himself that he needs to stay focused in the present situation. In the Jovian system, Reavers are always a constant threat. 
although it seems especially so while around the alien artifact. Reavers are not the only thing the monolith attacks. Pirate gunslingers wait for the old deputy at Ganymede. Dread Pirate Robertson is their leader, and an old Confederate veteran like himself. Although old, Robertson's vessel, Barabon, was built during the minor wars for the purpose of war. Minky, the killer on the other hand, is the epitome of scum and villainy. His ship is a high-tech amalgamation of random parts, do-it-yourself mechanics, and stolen top-secret government weaponry. All this in the hands of a psychopath. Finally, there is Captain Jack, usually a cool-headed opportunist. She joins Robertson and Niki at Gadamese to gun down the Jovian deputy for her humiliating feat at Callisto. Her reputation is at stake, and her contract to Zenic Industries must be fulfilled. Through it all, the rich young astronaut who came to help him at Kiri's stands by his side still. For this, the old space engineer is grateful and has great respect for the young man. Out in the void lies the weight of the heavens. The old astronaut prepares himself to face his mortality yet once more. For this is the measure of a man to face the brutal reality of his life understand that all he stands for and love depends on his deeds of courage. The ability to face, defeat, and stand again to oppose that which is overwhelming evil is a beacon of truth. The old astronaut clears his mind and is grateful for this moment. Begin main system startup. Engage. Mark Carson, proceed. Though it seems that the deputy bounty hunter has arrived. I must admit, there has been some underestimation of these two in the past. But not anymore. Greg, would you be so kind as to open a communication with our adversary? I do wish a dialogue with them before the children. Excellent. No reason for this to become messy, is there? If I read these two right, it will get me. Even though we outnumber them two to one, 
They're here to fight. <laughs> no, they do not have that martial boom. I have been itching for a fight with that older bastard for ruining my beautiful ship. I'm gonna kill him this time. I'm gonna kill him real good in a second too. Yuki, you will get your opportunity. We need to see if they brought that alien artifact with them, or if they left it at Cholesco. And whose fault was that, huh, Jackie? Starting scared. Let's see what we can find. You know why we're here, Robertson? I'm just going to tell you something that has been on my mind since I found out the truth. Brother, you're still wearing the old Confederate uniform from the war. And here we are ready to kill each other when we fought side by side. For what? Why are we going to do this? Because you're serving a filthy metal man replicant from the corporate union, that's why. How do you sell out like that? Every man has this path to follow. Some, such as yourself, sell out by being content to mind the rest of his days on an old lonely rock. I on the other hand, don't So here we are, about to engage in a gunfight over something useless that my employer desires. I am only here to collect. Why not hand it over and prevent getting killed? Let's be real, shall we? You are not a lawman, but a bounty hunter. Is the bounty worth it? Hmm. You brought this on yourself. If it's a gunfight you want, it's a gunfight you're gonna get. Mm. We might win, we might lose, but the thing is, you're going down. Okay, kid. Why do you even associate yourself with this old fool? Don't you know he is going to get you killed? I just happened to stumble upon the place. Well, we became, we became friends. I happen to stick around because of the least it's an adventure and I'm not pirating and pillaging other places. We shall be remembered for our greatness and heroism. You will be forgotten in time. As we will stand, you will fall. And everyone shall rise once more. It looks like uh, they're coming at us. Mm. Charge! Well, make sure you make sure ma ma make, make sure you stay behind me, because I've got all the all the guns, right? You may have the gun, but you don't have the speed. Well, okay. <laughs> It's going to be a tough fight because it's four on two. It's, 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 we're out number two to one. Right, oh, I, it, are you up underneath me? I think you are, aren't you? Okay, they're 20 miles out, so I'm switching to... Uh, I'm going to switch to my, my target camera. Okay. Switching to my camera. Oh, 13 miles. Who, who am we? Who we? Who's coming in first? Who's coming in first? What the? We got Yinky breaking off on the pack. Yinky's broken oh. off. He's on the uh, left, isn't he? Oh, there's Durban taking off. Where do you think you're going? Oh, oh. I don't know. Oh. Who, who am I? Oh, I'm out. I'm out of the battle. What do you mean? I'm out. What happened? One hit. I'm pretty sure I got hit by a missile and my character blacked out. Are you are are you dead? No. Okay, well then get your <laughs> get your ship back to motion. You black out? Is your ship still functional? Yeah, something hit me, so I Do you still have a bridge? Yes, some yeah, I, I blacked out soon. Cause something hit me like hard enough to actually kick my entire ship forward. Up. Okay, well I got some really good hits on uh, bar on, on on the Baraban. 
Yeah, I, I had some high Gs. Yeah, you just blacked out. I feel like I'm a bit warm again. Something, something happened to my ship, but I feel like I'm ten times lighter. Holy crap, something just, something's exploding off to my, oh my gosh. Something is exploding on my, oh my, this doesn't sound good. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm after Robertson and I've got a targets on him. He's doing about 200, he's doing about 250 uh, kilometers. Oh, he's uh -oh. taking a maneuver. He's Wait, taking a maneuver. Coming in. Got Reavers coming in. Reavers? Yeah. Really? A lot of them. Now? Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Why? I mean, oh. really? Oh. We've got a few defenders out there. Captain Jack seems to be in the middle of them. Oh, really? Hopefully, he'll delay them for a while. <laughs> Captain Jack's actually surrounded by a ring. Well, good for her. I, oh, 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 man. Oh. Robertson's, Robertson's right. being crafty with me right now. You're, you're going after Robertson. Yeah, right. I'm after Robertson. I don't know what happened to Yankee. No one's going after Yankee. Well, stay stay away from the Reavers. <laughs> yeah, I'm not heading towards the Reavers. I'm heading towards uh, Yankee. Oh, don't take on Yankee. Not by yourself. We almost ha we almost have we almost have Robertson. The Barabon is so disabled right now, I don't even think it's hardly moving. Speed, bait, guns, asteroid! Yeah, don't hit the asteroid, <laughs> please. Yeah, I think, I think Robert's in, oh, there's an explosion. I think I hit his reactor. Yep. Robertson's reactor is gone. He's still fighting it, though. He's still he's still fighting. Even though he's not going, he's not doing doing pretty good. Yankee of Sotoram. I think I, I think he just hit me really hard. I've got Yinky in my own. Oh my. Uh, yeah, he hit me really hard. Are, are, is Yinky tearing oh! you? So Mata is shooting lasers, but not at me. Probably because there's a reaper coming. I got something clanging in my ship. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave Barabon for alone for now. I'm gonna come in and maybe help you. Well, you're going after Yinky, aren't you? Okay, I'm, I'm 12 out from Yinky. There's a... Who, who, who's above Yankee? Is that the Reaver? Yeah. Oh, what the? What's going on? Yeah, the Yankee's fighting it. Oh, he just took a shot at me. And he, I like, he hit me really hard. Open my, I'm trying to take five mile shots at him, but those are hard to make, especially with his defenses. Okay, I'm closing the distance. You, you're about nine miles behind me? Yeah. Okay, well I'm taking some pretty heavy hits, but I think my decoys are gonna be, are, are handling it. I'm a really Okay, yeah, you, is your nanites kind of helping you out? I think I, I think I got Yankee in a bad spot. He's not really responding too well. 
Yeah. Oh. I'm, I'm pelting Yankee like nobody's business. Yeah, there's 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 explosions going on on his ship. Yeah, he's he's done. I I, I hope he lives enough logging his. Oh, he's he he got out of it. Oh, and he smacked me hard. Okay, I'm gonna go in for one more run on Yankee before I, I switch. Oh, I'm pretty sure I've got a Reaver trying to ram me. Oh. Why don't you kind of move move on over towards me instead of being out there by yourself? I mean, I noticed that you're like 30 miles from me right now. Never mind, Reaver's gone. Is it? Now it is. What, did you shoot it? Yeah. Nice. Corvette. Oh, okay. Well, I think Yinky's got... He, he's, he, he's playing games with me right now. They're quite far away from me. And so I'm going to turn back into the battlefield. I'm not going to play with him no more. I'm in the middle of nightmares. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm coming to help you. Uh, I've got several Rebus charging me. Okay, well, why don't you come towards me? What, but I can't see you. Well, I don't have a beacon on? Nah. Time for my helmet to run out of oxygen. Well. Oh. Well. There's like a huge hole in the, on the top of my ship. <laughs> Hopefully nobody comes at me while I'm... I'm... Trying to get oxygen, right? Okay, I got oxygen. I gotta run back to my seat. Reavers seem to be reacting towards you. Well, I, yeah, they're coming. I'm sure, but I gotta get. I'm gonna get to my center seat because I think my front seat's probably been compromised. Go at it. See how that ends up. Who? 
this. Oh yeah, no, I don't think the Caliban or Captain Jack are gonna last long. Why they, they are? They're, they're too Captain heavy frigates. <laughs> Let me see. Let me see where where. Oh, yeah. Okay, they're about. 12 miles uh, out. That, let me, let me take a look. Two frigates, two reaver ships. All and on, uh, all on Captain, Captain Jack. Jack. Oh. I don't think they're going to land. Okay, well. Let's let's try to get back to Baraban then. To uh, the Robertson's Baraban. You're... There's that strike corvette that's been dogging me though. You gotta You got to get him off my tail. I got something. Are you shooting them? Oh, there. Oh, you're above me. Huh? Yeah. Above I'm, I'm right above you, so be careful. Oh, bye. You don't have anything on you. I did. I must have lost it. I think I shook it. Yeah. No, he's off to your starboard. I can see him. He's 10 miles off your starboard. Yeah, I see him. He's getting in gun range. What is it? Is it a reaver? No oh, reaver. Yeah. yeah. But I I think Captain Jack is, is making a, a break for it. That's what it looks like. You see how fast you see how fast she's moving? Yeah. She's making a break for it. in before more missiles can fly because you know he took a couple of extra shots at me right and then that guy tried to escape and we blew the crap out of him yeah well dude i might have one small problem what's that well using the drone 
Well, Closed doors. Well, you're gonna have to shoot them open. Alright. How much ammo do I have to use there? Alright, uh, searching for the hangar. Uh, Alright. Okay, Got well, he op hangar. one of those hangars are opened because, right, yeah. because uh, the guy tried to escape. You mean the guy that got shredded by my sentry? Yeah, well, we'll have to clone him later. But let's try to see if we can can't get Robertson alive because that'll give us a little bit more money. Oh, look, they just dropped money right there. I'm in the hangar. All right, all right. Which, which way do you think? It's the staircase? They're not in the reactor. I blew the reactor up. Staircase, all right. Yeah, all right. Why, don't, why, don't, why don't you shoot that open? Ooh. Speaking of reactor, yeah, that's... If anybody was in the hangar, they would All right, you ready? Shooting the door open. Okay, sounds good. This opportunity, this was a great tool. We're going to have to... We're gonna have to have this more often. Is the door open? Is the door open. Just shoot it some more. Doors are made to be tough. Uh, I guess one of us are gonna have to go in. Why? What's going on? I, I just made it to the place and I got the grinder, so. I'm gonna be here. I'm gonna be grinding it. All right, yeah. Go behind it because the limo is quite uh, limited on this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay, I ground the 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 thing off, and I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I should shoot this door open or should I grind the door open? I think I should probably just. just sh oh yeah, I shot it open, but then look, guess what happened? <laughs> you can't go through that, can you? Okay, well, see what's inside anyways. You see anything? Yeah, another door. Another door? Here, well, let's open let's I'm open up case. let's open up the space back up. Yeah, you, you, that 25 millimeter just turned him into mincemeat. Yeah. I gotta let you know, I'm thinking Robertson probably heard that. Probably. Mm -hmm. That guy's alive. Might be other. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. who set warheads off on Laika Station at the beginning of the war. Interesting. A man like you trying to bring a man like me to the law. As they say, you can run on for a long time. But someday the reality of your deeds will cut down. It may well be that I murdered over a thousand innocent lives and in instants back in the day. This ain't about that. The way I see it, there are two types of men on each of the side of this door. On the one side that you're standing in is for a coward, hiding in a hole hoping that there's some sort of salvation and it ain't gonna come. On this side that I'm standing on, 
This is for men willing to confront his judgment and face redemption. Now I'm gonna step back a few paces and I'm gonna wait for a fellow Confederate to walk through that door and face his judgment with dignity. That's how you're gonna live up to your claim as being a dread pirate. If I gotta wait five minutes and that man does not appear in front of me, then I'm gonna call upon the kid outside and he's gonna blow you and the whole medical station into particles. You ain't gonna clone back from that. So it's time to man up, Robertson. Or die a coward. 